Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Depth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's get started. A 20 MGD wastewater treatment plant with an influent BOD concentration of 15 milligrams per liter discharges into a stream with the flow rate of 150 cubic feet per minute and background BOD concentration of 2 milligrams per liter. The BOD concentration of the mixing point must not exceed the water quality standard for BOD of 10 milligrams per liter. In order to meet this water quality standard, what must the BOD removal efficiency of the plant be? So, in looking at this problem, it appears that there's a lot going on. However, we'll break it down into four simple steps to solve. The first thing we're going to do is turn to the PE reference handbook and look at section 6.71 in the PE reference handbook. And at the time of this recording, we're using reference handbook version 1.1. We will also be using the PE reference handbook section 1.2 for the unit conversion factor. The first step to solving this problem is going to be converting the flow rates to the same units. And in this case, we're going to convert the flow rate of 150 cubic feet per minute to MGD. And you'll see why we choose to convert this flow rate in the next step. But for now, the first step will be turning to the PE reference handbook section 1.2 and we get our conversion factor that 150 cubic feet per minute conversion factor is going to be 1 gallon is equal to 0 0.134 cubic feet and we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour and we know that there's 24 hours per day. So we work this out and we get a flow rate equal to 1,611,000 940.3 gallons per day. We divide that by 1 million and we get 1.612 MGD. So that's step one. Step two to solve this problem, we'll turn to the PE reference handbook section 6.7.1 and specifically we'll be looking at the equation listed there Q1C1 plus Q2C2 equals Q3C3. And using that equation, we will substitute Q1 will be the flow rate and the concentration of the stream. So we just converted the flow rate of the stream to MGD in step one. So that will be our Q1 value will be 1.612 MGD times C1, which is the background BOD concentration of the stream of 2 milligrams per liter, plus Q2 will be the flow rate of the wastewater treatment plant, 20 MGD. And that's why we chose to convert the flow rate of the stream from cubic feet per minute to MGD in step one to ensure that unit consistency. So 20 MGD times, so C2 is our unknown. C2 is what we're solving for because the question asks about the efficiency of the plant. So we know that influent concentration BOD but after it's treated, what is the effluent need to be to meet the water quality standard? So for now, we'll call that C2 the effluent of the treatment plant because we don't know that yet, and that's what we need to solve for. We set that equal to Q3C3. So Q3 
is at the mixing point, the flow rate at the mixing point. So that is determined just by adding the flow rates together. The 1.612 MGD from the stream plus the 20 MGD from the treatment plant. So we add those together and we get 21.6 MGD and our C3 value is the concentration at the mixing point which has to meet this water quality standard for BOD of 10 milligrams per liter. So C3 is 10 milligrams per liter. Solving this equation for C2, we get the answer that C2 is equal to 10.645 milligrams per liter. So we're not finished yet because what we calculated in step two is the effluent concentration of BOD from the treatment plant. But what the problem statement has asked us for is what must the BOD removal efficiency of the plant be. So in order to find this, we're going to again turn to the PE reference handbook, section 6.7.1. And in that section, you see an equation for a mass conversion, and it's given as mass in pounds per day is equal to flow rate in MGD times concentration in units of milligram per liter times a constant in the equation of 8.34. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this equation to determine the mass in pounds per day of BOD coming into the plant and also the mass of BOD again in pounds per day of effluent BOD leaving the treatment plant. So the mass of the influent we're going to calculate by using our 20 MGD flow rate of the wastewater treatment plant times the influent BOD concentration of 15 milligrams per liter. Very important here that you realize that you need to use the influent BOD concentration of the plant, not the effluent that we calculated in step two just yet, because we're calculating the influent mass, so we need to use the influent con concentration. So what we're going to do is multiply the 20 MGD by 15 milligrams per liter times the equation constant of 8.34 and that is going to get an answer for the mass influent flow rate of 2,502 pounds per day. We'll use the same equation to calculate the mass for the effluent BOD for our Q value in this case, we again use the 20 milligrams per day, the treatment plant's capacity, times, in this case, multiplying the C value of 10.645 milligrams per liter that we calculate in step two. The reason being is we calculate in step two, that is the concentration of the BOD in the effluent. And in this case, we're solving for the mass of the effluent so that is the concentration we use of 10.645 milligrams per liter times the constant in the equation, 8.34. And we use this and we calculate a mass of pounds per day of effluent BOD of 17.75 pounds per day. So what we have now is we have our mass of the influent, our mass of the effluent, and we need to subtract these two values to determine the amount of BOD that needs to be removed from the plant. So BOD to be removed that's going to be a simple subtraction of 2,502 pounds per day minus 1,775 
pounds per day. And the BOD that we need the plant to remove is going to be 726 pounds per day. Okay, so that's the amount of BOD that needs to be removed. We're still not done because the problem statement asks us of the removal efficiency, and that's a percentage. So step four is going to be determining this percentage. So a simple equation that I like to use is this right here, where it's is over of equals percent over 100. And so if we use this equation, we want to know what percent of 2,502 pounds per day is 726. And if we do that math, we'll be solving for that percentage, and we get an answer of approximately 29.033%. And if we scroll up and look at our answer choices, we see that this is answer choice B, 29%. So I hope that helps you. We here at Civil Engineering Academy are here to walk with you every step of the way in your journey towards becoming a licensed PE and helping you ace your FE and PE exams. So check us out, if you haven't already, at civilengineeringacademy.com and consider en enrolling in one of our PE or FE review courses. We'll see you soon.